three. There are three geometric constructions that can't be made with a compass and a straight edge. Now, back in the old days, Greek mathematicians studied a lot of geometry. And one thing they liked to do was figuring out what sort of constructions they were able to make using just a straight edge and a compass. Now, what does it mean by the straight edge and the compass? Well, by using the straight edge, the only lines that you can draw would be straight lines. And by using compasses, the only thing you can draw would be arcs or circumference of a circle. And so in the compass and straight edge constructions, you were only allowed to draw straight lines or arcs of a circle. You weren't allowed to measure any sort of length with a ruler or measure any sort of angle using protractors. And the Greeks were able to make many, many different constructions. They were able to make regular shapes like hexagons. And if they had a line of a certain length, they were even able to construct another line whose length is the square root of that first line. The Greeks were able to solve many different problems by just drawing straight lines and circles. But there were three different problems that they couldn't do with just the line and the circle. The three things that the Greeks couldn't do were squaring a circle, doubling a cube, and trisecting an angle. But what do these three problems actually say? Well, let's look a bit closer into what the three problems are actually talking about. First of all, squaring a circle. If you have a circle of some certain area, all you had to do was draw a square whose area is equal to that of the circle. Basically, if you have a circle of radius one, its area will be pi. So basically, you have to construct a square whose area will be pi as well, which would mean that the sides of the square will have to equal to square root of pi. And the second problem is to double a cube. If you have a cube whose volume is one, you have to construct another cube which has got double the volume or the volume of two. Or basically, if the first cube has got sides equal to one, then the second cube needs to have sides equal to the cube root of two, so that the volumes of these two are doubles of each other. And the last and final problem is trisecting an angle. Or you might have heard of a problem of bisecting an angle, which is means you take an angle and then you divide it in half so you get two equal angles. Trisecting an angle just basically means taking that angle and dividing it into three equal angles. Now this problem is possible for some certain angles, however it's not possible for all of the angles. Now these problems in fact aren't impossible, they could be done. However, in order to do it, you'd need marker rulers, which is something that you're not allowed when just constructing these shape with a straight edge and a compass alone. And the Greeks took ages to find a proper solution for these three problems using a straight edge and a compass alone. But it wasn't until much, much later that these three problems were actually proven to be impossible. In 1837, Pierre Wontzel proved that the problem of doubling a cube and trisecting an angle was in fact impossible. And in 1882, pi was shown to be transcendental because of the lindemann weierstrass theorem, da, 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 da. and as a consequence of this meant that square root of pi was not constructible using just a straight edge and a compass. And that would have saved the Greeks a lot of time trying to find solutions to the problems if only they knew that the problems were actually impossible. But anyways, these these are the three geometric constructions that can't be done with compass and a straight edge.